September 2010, teachers and students will be entering a restructured secondary education system featuring two all through high schools, seven academies and a mandatory year 12 program. But why now and what will all these changes mean for those affected? The decision to restructure the schools is one that we toiled over. We toiled over quite some time. The backdrop to that was the delivery of the new high schools. However, we took the decision that we needed to separate the building of buildings from improvements in the education system. Once we made that decision and separated those two issues, it became quite a natural choice for us to make that we had to move forward with the restructuring of secondary education. Currently, the secondary education system in Grand Cayman is what we call a 3 plus 3 model. That is, students spend three years in middle school at George Hicks and then move on to, it has been three years at John Gray High School where they prepare for examinations. We're moving away from that 3 plus 3 model to what we call the 5 plus 1 model. When students go into secondary school, um, they're 11 years old on average, and they'll now stay in the same school from the time they leave primary school until they reach roughly 16 and a half and they're doing their external examinations. They'll have the same teachers who see them all the way through that whole process. There's no big transition at the age of 14. We're going to still have six years of secondary school. We're keeping a mandatory sixth year that comes after examinations, which will give students a range of new options. And that's where we're introducing what we call VOCAT programs. That's vocational, career and technical options for students. We're looking at a range of foundation programs, which give students second chances for academic success if they haven't done so well in their exams but we know they can do better they have an opportunity to reset um, and there are also some new very demanding academic programs being offered in year 12 for those students who need more challenging academic options to prepare them for the next stage in their further education. We believe that certainly as we restructure secondary education and, and, the, and the model that we are using it will allow for our students to be divided in such a way that firstly you develop the intimate groups in terms of the learning academies. They will still be a part of one school but you break them down into more manageable numbers. What we're talking about is not very minor changes. We're talking about rethinking the way we deliver education for our children. That's not something you can start piecemeal at, in one year and then continue the next year. Because what we're talking about is a mammoth exercise. We're talking about re, reorganizing teachers, reallocating them to, to different schools. We're talking about um, assigning children um, now, no longer with a middle school, high school. We're talking one all through school, now decided along district lines. Um, so it's, it's something I think once the commitment was there, that the idea of moving to this 11 17 um, system, once that was accepted, it meant we had to take forward the whole transition. Of course the natural question that would come into people's mind is what will happen to Kim and Bragg High School? As you know that has traditionally been an all through high school and it still is. And, and their results have, have been strong, stronger certainly there than on Grand Cayman. We are going to um, have dialogue with and discussion with education professionals and the wider community in Kim and Bragg because within the reform process, we cannot leave out the sister islands. And so we are going to, to look at ways in which um, down the line we can introduce some of the concepts that we do have here in Grand Cayman to improve outcomes for students on Cayman Brack. In Cayman, we need to understand that this isn't about producing good Caymanian students. This is about producing good global citizens high achievers who can compete with anyone from around the world. With globalization, our Caymanians are going to be exposed to companies right here in this island who are looking for the best minds from around the world to become their global managing directors. Get further details on the education transition by logging on to the Ministry's blog on your screen. To share your ideas with the transition team, email set at des 
www.edu.ky or desmond.mcconvey at gov.ky.